And thank you for joining us at 6. I'm Darren Perrin. And I'm Kat Villianzoni. 30 seconds. That's how long a local woman says it took for a crook to steal her car in Burlington. She tells our Ben David she turned around and her car was gone. Five days a week, South Burlington resident Ellen LeBounty parks out front right here at this Dunkin' Donuts and then heads inside to get her usual order. I go to get my iced coffee and my uh, donut <laughs> every morning. But on Tuesday morning, her breakfast came with a side of surprise. She walked out with her order and realized her car was gone. Where the hell is my car? And it was nowhere to be found. And I'm thinking to myself, this ain't right. Jittery right now. The 70-year-old woman from South Burlington says she left her car running, like she always does, at 5 a.m. to get her order. And even though the car is programmed to lock when she walks away, the thief was quick enough to get inside. It was all done within 30 seconds. LeBounty's car is equipped with tracking technology that police were able to access. Police say the suspect was spotted in Winooski and then he sped off. Eventually, he was arrested here off of Zephyr Road in Williston. Police say that they took the suspect, 30-year-old Josh Jakes of Milton, into custody. He's suspected of driving under the influence and other charges are pending. LeBounty's car, now at the shop, was found with things thrown around on the inside and is getting checked for damage. It's going to be an expensive trip. South Burlington Police Chief Sean Burke says car thefts are on the rise. And it's a very concerning uh, crime trend that's going on in Chittenden County. This graph shows the issue in just South Burlington alone. 20 2018 saw only 24 reports of car thefts, and in 2023, that number jumped to 126. Chief Burke says it's usually a crime of opportunity. What we see is suspects are stealing cars that are unlocked with the keys in them and then using them in other crime sprees, be that retail theft or burglaries. It's a warning to change some old habits. Things that we used to be able to do as Vermonters, leave our homes unlocked, leave our cars unlocked, keys in, in cars, you can no longer do that. And that's something LeBounty says with the changing world, is hard to get used to. You used to be able to leave your car running, but you can't do that no more. You can't. In South Burlington, Ike Ben David, Channel 3 News. Vermont's law governing car theft is called operating without owner's consent, punishable by up to 10 years in prison. Now this year, lawmakers are also debating whether to add an attempted auto theft statute for people caught in the act.